Harry here, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Had a Lightsaber, Part 5. So, let me do a recap on what happened last time. So, Naruto, he was, well, he was in the Death Forest fighting against what they call Archimaru and the others. Of course, kills three Jedis and Archimaru. Of course, out of that, there was a Premier Round, so which uh, he fought against a Jedi that was from the Grass Village. He killed him and murdered him. Of course, everyone else did fight and blah, blah, blah. And Sirena wanted Naruto to train, well, Naruto to train her in the way of the Force or of the Sith that much. And, of course, Naruto does for, like, 15 days. And, of course, this is where Sirena's uh, brother, Saban, does come in. And, of course, well, kind of, not 15 days, like, two days before, well, two days into the third days. Of course, Saban fights against Naruto, and Naruto whoops his ass and says, fuck right off. Sirena and Naruto does kind of get closer, but Naruto still has his heart shut off, but yeah. But, of course, Naruto does, like, let her pick out her weapons, and her weapon, it is a dual-wielding lightsaber. It's, uh, it's like a staff, but you has to, well, okay, you get the point. It's a lightsaber pike, or something like that. Of course, her lightsaber crystal it is called the Permfrost uh, Kaiba Crystal. Of course, she also is a Sith, but yeah. Naruto did meet what they call Sirena's parents and her brother and her grandparents. Of course, her grandparents and her like family found out that Naruto's an Uzumaki Namakaze and also the Ninetos, Jinjariki. With that happening... Naruto did kind of train uh, Sirena in the 30 days in the way of the Sith, which she managed to, but instead of like having her Kyber crystal red and all that, and having foresight, and she has force, fro, uh, what, froze, what, force, frost, that's her, what's called, ability in the force, and of course she does have force push, she does have her like mastery and her techniques of the uh, what's called lightsaber pint or something, whatever it's called. And even the what's called Kaiba crystal that's called perm fright, uh, frost, perm frost Kaiba crystal. But yeah, of course, this is where we're going into the finals. Now, also I might, I might pause like a couple of like seconds or minutes or whatever, because well, um... I hurt my fucking leg really fucking bad today in work. Not bad enough, but it's just a giant bump on my fucking leg. Uh, if you want to know what I hit myself with, it was on complete fucking accident, not on purpose. It was with um, a fucking mallet, if you want to think about it. It's, a, it's not like a full-on metal mallet. It, was, it had plastic, but it was made out of metal still. Uh, let me show you what it is. It's whatever the fuck this is called exactly, but yeah, I hit myself with this on accident. But yeah, my legs fucking hurts really bad. So I might pause it multiple times in the video, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I might pause it because, or probably like, not even, I'll probably even cut it at like 30 minutes or something. I don't know. I'm just saying that because, well, I'm gonna go take a shower, take a nap because, well, my leg fucking hurt it. And it is right now a giant fucking ball. God, I'm an idiot. I don't know what happened. But yeah, you guys, let me fucking go on before I just completely get lost or whatever. Uh, whatever. So, we go into the final exams. Now, Naruto. He and Sirena are going in together. Of course, Sirena managed to warm up Naruto's heart a little bit. Not much, but Naruto's kind of warmed up to Sirena a little bit. Enough to them where they're like the point at they're actually friends. So yeah. Of course Sirena's dad wanted them to be more than just friends, but it's close enough that uh, close enough both uh what's called Sirena's uh well mother and grandmother fucking smacked the hell out of her father, but yeah. But yeah. Of course we go into the what's called final tuning stamps. So this is where Naruto's like Final uh, match, it, well, not final match, his match is Nechi Hyuga. So, of course, when they get into it, 
And there at the bottom, this is where the proctor says, uh, I forgot his name, I don't know which one. I think it wasn't Hayate, Hayate still died to the sand in July. Of course, uh, what's a cop? It was, um, I fucking forgot what his other guys, whatever the other guy's name. But, this is where, what's a cop? The proctor says, okay, the first match, it is Naruto Uzumaki versus Neji Hyuga. That's where Neji says, give up. You cannot defeat me. Fate has told me that blah, blah, blah. Naruto says, shut up, blah, blah, blah. Naruto fully just ignore whatever Neji says because Fate is just complete bullshit and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Naruto kind of just rushes at, not even rushes at Neji. Neji just rushes at Naruto because Naruto's not even making the move. Neji, uh, what's called, does a palm strike at Naruto. Naruto evades it so easily. He dodges it. He dodges multiple attacks from, well, Neji. Now, Neji is keep trying to strike at Naruto. Naruto dodges, 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 down, up, left, right. Yeah, he's dodging. He's not even using a lightsaber or the force just to push Neji away. Which, Nar uh, which Naruto is seeing Neji getting irritated. And this is where Naruto says, Neji Hyuga. Do you really think the fate, do you really want to just be the fate and be a little bitch to death, the main branch? Or do you want to fight back and show that your power is more supreme than that of the, what's it called, main branch? This is where Naji stops and says, I can't. Naji gets angry and says, fate has taught me. This is where Naruto says, oh, shut up about fate for a second. You realize you have the power. You can really send all them hierarchy, whatever bullshit, to what to call the grave. So Neji kind of looks and glares at Naruto for a little bit. Naruto says, just come at me, just trying to hit me. So of course Neji does that. Naruto fades him and of course whispers in his ear. Well, not whispers in his ear. He just keeps talking. Just kind of lowly that no one else can hear him or anything. And of course, are you not seeing this? And kind of wondering what is Naruto trying to do to Neji Hyuga. She knows that Naruto usually will end anyone in just a couple of seconds. Even if this is the freaking prodigy Hyuga. Naruto says, just keep getting angry. Angry. More anger. Pain and anger is the way to become stronger and stronger. Neji's doing that. He's getting angrier and of course this is where Naruto kind of like hit him a little bit. And of course every time he gets hit and all that, Neji's used getting angrier and angrier. And while unconsciously kind of using the force. That's where Naruto, when he tries to hit Neji, Neji kind of stops and tries to about to hit uh, Naruto with a, what's it called, palm strike? Not palm strike, a strike. And of course, for some reason, there was a force field before Naruto came to touch him. Now, of course, <clears throat> when that happened, Naruto dodges the what's it called palm strike anyway. <clears throat> and of course, this is where Naruto says, "Ah, you do have the force. You do have potential." That's where Naruto threw what's called. Well, it's not. It's like a uh, how should I say? It's a glove. It's like a, uh, this is where Naruto gives him a glove. Well, two, two gloves for his hand. It's, uh, let me show you. So, it's just like little, it's not even a glove. It's like these little, what's called metal rings around Neji and all that. Naruto just tells him to put it on. And Neji does it. He doesn't know why he's listening to Naruto. But Naruto says, okay, after doing that, you see angry and uh, use your anger and pain and even loss or whatever to activate those. So Neji does it. And of course he goes into well uh, putting it in his like two fingers that he used for her palm strikes and all that. And of course that's when Neji puts him in well both of his fingers and all. And when he gets angry enough and uses actually the force to actually activate these. He uses the anger force and all that. To activate two red lightsaber beams around his fingers. So. Neji has just activated two devices that Naruto actually created. 
Because Naruto got expired by how Nanji uses his what's called palm strikes and realized that there was actually a way for him to actually do it. Now, Nanji is not getting hurt by the lightsaber plasma exactly. No, because Nanji is also using the anger and, well, what's called the anger and all that, the force around his fingers while the plasma hurting it. He doesn't know this, but yeah, he's doing it unconsciously without doing it. He doesn't know it, or not unconsciously, consciously. But yeah, now, this is where Naruto says, huh, you actually managed to activate them. Now, the, uh, this like lightsaber type of device kind of got expired by the hidden blade lightsaber. Yes, there there are hidden blade lightsabers in what's called Star Wars. I, I just found that out awesome. Like a couple of days ago. But yeah, this is where Naruto says, now come at me, Neji, Hyuga. Fight me with all your anger and power. Now, Neji does it, but of course, he first closes his eyes and was about to act activate his, like, Byakugan. This is when he activates the Byakugan. His eyes aren't the pale white color. Instead, it is a darker gray color. Yes, he is using the dark side. Well, even knowing that his eyes have just changed, he's now able to see... Chakra, but even more enhanced. His eyes are so much enhanced. Now, of course, Naruto gets impressive. Says, "Ah, you're now using the dark side. You're using the force into your eyes. This is good." Neji, fight me if you can. Now, Neji does it. He rushes at Naruto, and Naruto is over here just dodging his like attack still. But Neji's getting a little bit quicker and faster. Now Naruto activates his lightsaber and blocks what's called Neji's attacks. Because Naruto was just training him on how to actually use his what's called lightsaber's fingers and all. And mostly his force. Because Naruto actually sense when Neji was fighting against Hinata, he can sense that he had the force. But an angry version of the force. Basically the dark side version. Now, of course, this is where Neji is right now fighting against Naruto. Naruto's blocking his, like, lightsaber uh, strikes and all, which they're just lightsaber fingers and all. Or strikes of, yeah, you get the point. Naruto's just blocking it with his own lightsaber. Zing, 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 zing. Yeah, Naruto's easily blocking them. Like, Naruto's barely even trying. Now, Neji is, like, trying to get behind Naruto, trying to attack him from behind, forward, and all that. Naruto just says, keep going at it, Neji. You can get, uh, what's Kai, you can do it. You can try to hit me. Which, Neji managed to hit Naruto in, like, the arm. And Naruto was impressed. This is where Naruto uses force push to push Neji away. Neji was like, ah. <sighs> this is where Naruto says, this is good. You're able to use it to dark side. Come on, Neji. You want to get stronger, don't you? This is where Neji says, I will become stronger. This is where Naruto removes uh, Neji's like half band and all. When uh, Naruto uses what's called, what? He got forward up to Neji. He uses his lightsaber to cut off the uh, half band and all that. And Neji says, What? This is where Naruto says, Don't attack me for a second. Naruto goes up to Neji's forehead and starts asking for Karama to see if he can get rid of the, uh, well, the mark on what's called Neji's head. Is there a Naruto? Uh, why not Naruto? Karama says, sure, why not? So Naruto add a bubbly chakra of Karamas to get rid of, well, the mark. The, uh, what's called cage burp mark. And just eats the chakra and destroys it. And destroys the seal. That's where Naruto says, that's a little gift for from me to you. Since you're able to use the dark side. This is good. And Naji says, what do you mean, a gift? This is where Naji gets a, what's called, well, turns off what's called the uh, lightsaber fingers. And, of course, gets one of the kunais and all that. And looks up towards, well, the reflection and all that. And he says, head does not have the courage bird. He is like, what the, how? Naruto says, ah, just a little gift. Now, I'm sorry about this, but I have to knock you out. So I can go on. Pa hits Neji in the back of the head. Like, not back of the head. Back of the neck. Knocking him out. That's where Naruto says. What if? Well. Proctor. Who is the winner? 
the proctor says, Naruto Zumaki, everyone is shocked. Even Haruzen. Seeing that Naruto is able to use the QB chakra to get rid of the cage bird, he is shocked that Naruto already knows about the QB. Which he's like, uh huh. Also, Jiraiya was shocked when he saw that. Now, of course, people are shocked with the chakra color and all that, blah, 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 or how he was fighting against Tenaji. It was mostly when, uh, what's called, Laura and Inko kind of asked Sarina what he was doing. Naruto, uh, Sarina just says, Naruto is training Naji. And, of course, this is where Sasuke says, he was, what? He got angry and kind of go up in front of, well, Sarina's face and said, what? You, wait. That dumbass decided to train Hyuga, a weakling? That bastard. He tried to grab Sirena from the shirt until Naruto appears and uses force push to push Sasuke into a fucking pillar of stone. Actually, wait, Sasuke's not there yet. Sasuke's still training with what's called. Kakashi doesn't know about this. Nah, it was Kiba, the one who was trying to flirt with what's called Sirena. That's where, well, he gets smashed into a fucking pillar of stone and is right now hurting. So, yeah, Naruto says, fuck off. Now, Kiba still got his ass kicked with uh, Sasuke in the Premier Realm, so he's kind of scared of fighting against Naruto. So, Sayuna says, ah, Naruto. Naruto says, hello there. And, of course, Inko and Laura are still kind of confused how the fact that Naruto and Sayuna are kind of laughing and giggling. Because Naruto was cold and didn't care about multiple things. But yeah, now people are kind of shocked with Naruto's emotions with Sirena. But yeah, now, this is where Naruto is just looking at, at the matches. Now, the matches are, well, I forgot what I said exactly, but it was, uh, what's it called? Um, Sirena versus Tamari. So, of course, when that happens, because they're waiting for Gaara and Sasuke... Of course, that happens. Sirena actually managed to defeat. Not wait. Tamaru was going to cancel the call. Uh, Shikamaru. Yoshino was going against what's called. Um, Inko. Inko lost because she doesn't know much of her Genkai. But yeah, Laura was going against the call. Wow. Well, uh, Tamui. Shiroi was going. Well, no. Shiroi and Tamui was going each against. No, no, no. Shiroi was going against Laura, and Laura lost. Of course, this is where what the call. Well. Uh, fuck, I forgot what bunch of matches. But yeah, so, um. Fuck, I forgot, yeah, whatever. This is where our, uh, it was called. When it was Gara versus Sasuke, Sasuke didn't show up, so of course it was Naruto versus Gara instead, because, well. Haruzen can see that Sasuke is taking fucking forever. So he said, fuck that, and just threw Naruto in there. So Naruto is going against Gara. Now Gara is a little afraid. He is unnerved of Naruto. Naruto is just looking at Gara, just with cold, directed eyes at Gara's like, own eyes. And Gara is kind of afraid. He's unnerved. Now, the, what's it called? The Kazukage is still alive and all that. He didn't die because Orochimaru is dead. And of course he doesn't know about Orochimaru being dead. But yeah. Now the Sound 4 found out that Orochimaru is dead. Because their curse marks disappeared. Making. thinking Well they thought of. Oh shit Orochimaru is dead. Yes Orochimaru is dead. They didn't tell the Kazukage or anything. And they didn't tell their forces the sound. That well, Orochimaru is dead. But yeah. They just waited. Maybe Orchomaru's not there. Maybe he went off the grill, but they don't know about that. They are also near what's called the uh, the Leaf Village borders. But Naruto. I should mention one thing. Naruto was training Sirena, but Sirena also remembers Naruto's whole creation of robots. Yes, Naruto created droids. And, uh, what's called? He created, these. he created these droids, the B1 series. The battle droids, he created like multiple of them. He also created what's called like the B2. He also created what's called, um, he also created like a couple of these, like the uh, Centaur Star uh, battle droids. 
I don't really know what they're actually called. I think that's what they're called. But yeah. Naruto also created about three uh, droids that were actually close to look like what's called uh, General Grievous. Grievous. Um, the only way he actually managed to create these robots is because, well, Dark, uh, Dark Stealing, uh, what's called, fought against General Grievous before, so he easily kind of got a bunch of details on how to actually create his own, uh, what's called, droid that was close to that, uh, General Grievous, but yeah. Naruto also created two Imperial Sentinels. Basically, these are, well, Sentinel. okay, so you know that there is the Temple Guardian Sentinels, well, that uses yellow lightsabers. Well, these are basically just, well, for the Empire, for, like, the dark side and all that, like, for Palpatine and all that, that, well, created these, and they are made out of robots, and, of course, they guard, well, the Sith Imperial, uh, Emperor, em the fucking emperor of, well, the whole, whatever, you get the point. Yeah, Naruto created those robots, and he knows about what's called the sound and sand invasion, so that's why he, he created multiple of those, because he actually kind of found some sound and sand inches, and he did mass murder through them while Siren even noticing. And, of course, he asked them why they are here, and, of course, one of them did bitch out and did kind of snitch and blah, blah, blah. And Nara to create these main robots just to fight against those people. So yeah. Now, as for Naruto, he is just going against Gar. Now Gar is like um uh he's scared. He he's gonna try to use a sand, but he's scared of going against Naruto. Even the Kazakai didn't notice this. And he's like, What? Impossible. Can this kid be even more terrifying? No. Uh, God. what's it called? Even uh, Horusa notices. The Proctor notices, but then he says, Begin. Okay, this is where Gara, he stays away from Naruto, close combat, and starts using a sand. Sand spikes and all that sand, like, just sand attacks at Naruto far away. And of course, he's staying away from Naruto, but Naruto, he actually did kind of just dodge all the attacks. And keeps moving forward. That's where Gar says, Get away from me! You monster, get away! And of course, it were. Well, the leaf uh, civilians are like, Yeah, that's a demon, blah, blah, blah. Serena gets pissed and wants to just rip all their necks out. And of course, it's where. Well, some people are, are kind of confused from the sound village. Not sound village, I mean the sand village. Because there, there is mercenaries and ninjas that are from the sand village. And they are confused why Gara is scared. And of course the Kazakage, his father, is like, what? No. This can't be true. Is Gara scared? But why? Of course Tomari and, and Concord know why he is scared. They are also terrified. They're knowing their brother is going to die. That's where Naruto says, calm down Gara. If you don't calm down, I'll rip you apart. Is it right? Well, Kakashi and Sasuke appear, and of course, it where Kakashi says, Are we late? And a sand spike almost, well, not sand spike, a sand needle almost hits Kakashi right in the direct, in the fucking head. Of course, if Naruto didn't just use the force to block it from actually hitting him right in the fucking forehead, Kakashi would have been dead. Kakashi said, Uh, a proctor, what is happening? The proctor says, Sasuke fucking uh, gives up. Who gives a hell? Uh, fucking ask the Hokage why he did it, but I don't care. Move, bitch, before you get stabbed. You're luckily that one kid stopped that shit. This is where Kakashi says, but he can't do that. That's where Naruto uses the force grasp both uh, Kakashi and Sasuke. Fucking smashes him to the wall. Doesn't care. It's walking towards what's it called. Well, Gar. That's where Sasuke and Eno screams, No! You bastard demon this is where siren gets annoyed so much that she had enough of this shit grabs both eno and sasuke's head using the force and smashing them both t uh together just collided their heads their big ass foreheads together so yeah well sasuke's big ass forehead and eno
Kafka. Yeah, she had enough of it. Of course, is where Eno and uh, well, Laura kind of say so. Sayuna, are you interested in Naruto? Is that why you did that? So this is where Sirena blushes it. And I, I should also mention, the Sirena skin is actually pale white. Kind of like pale white. Not that pale, but yeah. She isn't Utsutsuki color, but she is sort of kind of color. Of like pale white. But yeah, this is where what's called uh, Sirena blushes to say, no, 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 that's not what's the problem. No, 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 no. She's denying it. And of course, Lauren Eno already knows. So like, hmm. Well, not Eno, Inko. But yeah, this is why, well, we go into Naruto versus Kar. So Kar says, get away from me. He's using sand attacks at Naruto. Naruto's cutting through them using the lightsaber. And of course, this is where Kar says, Shikaku. Shikaku says, oh, fuck no, you ain't making me go out there. No, 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 get your ass back out there. Uh, Kar says, what? Shikaku. Shikaku says, oh, fuck no. You bastard, you think I'm fighting against my older brother? If he lets out Karama, I'm fucked. That's where Naruto is getting closer. And when he is close enough to Gara, he puts his hand at Gara's shoulder and says, So, Gara, it seems that Shikaku doesn't want to fight. But my demon vest wants to fight him, though. But his older brother wants to fight him. You know, you should let out Shikaku. Shikaku says, you little brat, don't you fucking dare. I will fucking throw you back out to the fucking real life. So, Gara tells that he falls asleep. And, of course, this is where the Katsukaku says, Yes, the Shikaku thing will happen. Yes. So, Shikaku comes out. And, of course, everyone's screaming. Everyone's yelling. Until Shikaku says, I'm not fighting him. No. And this is where he throws, well, Gar back awake. And Gar wakes up. And Shikaku just shrinks him back into Gara's size. That's where Kazukaga says, What? Gara says, You bastard, you're not supposed to just throw me out of here. Shikaku says, No, fuck you. Deal with him yourself. I am not dealing with that. <clears throat> That's where Naruto's voice gets deeper and says, Shikaku, get out here now. And of course, Shikaku's like, No, I'm not getting out there. Gara, if you die, you rip the hell. I'm not fighting against my older brother. Hell no. Nah. You can deal with him. So this is where the Kazukage says, uh, uh, fuck it, the sand ovation just happened. He just starts fighting against Haruz and he just says, screw it. And of course, he's right now fighting against Haruz and it's kind of using his gold and sand at him. And of course, this is where the sound for appear and still use the, what's called, well, what's called, the, uh, the shield bird and whatever it's called, I forgot what it's called. But yeah, they don't have the curse mark, so they... Trying to stabilize enough. And right now, well, the Kazakai gets right now fighting against Horuzen. And, you know, Horuzen being the god of Shinobi is kind of whooping the fuck out of the Kazakai, but yeah. But, well, since Horuzen's kind of old, he's also kind of losing me, yeah. But he isn't losing that bad like in Majon Cannon, how he was fighting against the Gotham Hokages. But, yeah. We go into, well,. <clears throat> The sound and sand adventure, uh, bleh. the sound and sand ninja starts fading. This is where Naruto says joys appear. This is where multiple joys start appearing, because well, they're all kind of underground, and they start appearing and start fighting against what's called the sound and sand ninjas. The sound and sand ninjas start using their like kunais to try to destroy the joys. The joys are shooting their what's called well, the lasers attacks, and of course, ninjas think they can deflect them. And they get shot. They are dying so fast in such an instant, uh, what's it called? Just really fucking fast. Naruto saying, go my army! And of course, all the ninjas from the Leaf Feather chase. Wait, you say fucking army? Pium, pium, pium. The sound and sand ninjas are not able to have a good time. A giant snake appears. Yes, of course, someone actually mentioned someone else the snake still. But, he gets just shot down so easily. How? Well, Naruto also created what's called, not created, he managed to even build what's called, the, uh, what's called, not the Death Stars, what are they called? Uh, he managed to build only two Imperial Starships, 
which two droids are just driving that, so yeah. And shoots at the snake super easily. The snake just gets killed, so what the fuck just happens there? <clears throat> but yeah, Naruto is right now, he created his own sort of small scale, what's called, well, um, kind of empire. He, he knows he cannot really become a true, like, uh, Sith floor until he creates a little empire, but yeah. Luthor and Edge wakes up. And of course, a higher, what's called, one of the uh, main branch sugars to try to pluck out Neji's eyes until Neji wakes up and uses the same device that Naruto gave himself and he stabbed the what's called main branch elder Hugo right in the heart, killing him. Now, of course, there's multiple other main branch, uh, what's it called, so yeah, main branch attacking Neji and Neji's murdering them all. He is pissed and angry, thinking that these fucking weaklings dare attack him. This is where not when Neji he uses the force push. He pushes them on and stabs them all, killing them. But yeah. Now this is where well, uh, Hayate appears to try to fight against Neji, and he, since well, Hayate realized he tries to do the cage bird seal thing on Neji, and Neji doesn't have it. Now he uses well, Neji uses a palm strike, and well. This is where uh, Hayate tries to block it using chakra. The problem is, uh, well, Neji still has the lightsaber so activated, so it gets through and hits uh, Hayate. And well, Neji says, "A hunger in twenty-eight palm strikes kills Hayate in an instant." Yeah, fucking murder him. Yeah, you see here, fucking the lightsaber plasma thing, fucking murders anything. Okay. Getting hit by that is like you getting hit by, I don't know, fucking, you're getting hit by plasma, okay? It's very hot. Plasma's hot, okay? But yeah, this is where what's come. That happens, and, um, of course, Naruto also kind of made the droids, well, multiple of his, like, droid army to go destroy the root Ambus. And even what's called uh, Donzo. And when Donzo is right now fighting against what's called these droids and his root ombos trying to destroy the droids, the root ombos are dying left and right because they don't have any fucking skills against these droids. They try to use their swords, their swords get kind of shot through. And of course, when, well, this is where Donzo uses his Sharingan. And well, problem is, none of them has eyes, they are all machine. They are all machine and, well, Donzo dies multiple times as an Emerjon Cannon using what to call the, uh, the Nam Nami, oh fuck, I forgot what it's called. But yeah, the ability to kind of not fake death multiple times. And all his eyes, well, are gone. And he tries to use strength for his eyes. Yeah, that didn't work for shit. He dies. So Naruto knew about Donzo and the problem. He was the reason why. Everyone knew about him being a Nine Tails, and if he gets rid of Donzo, there's no problem for him. Now, he has kind of what's it called sense, what's it called Neji fight against what's it called the main branch of what's it called the main branch elders, and even the what's it called main branch uh, leader himself, Hayate. Not Hayate, uh, Hayashi. I don't know why I keep saying Hayate. No, it's Hayashi. But yeah, uh, Neji did kill him and all that, but yeah. Now, as for Naruto, he is well going um going through multiple sound and sand is just uh went towards him and he uses his lightsaber to cut them down. Sirena also activates her lightsaber and cuts through multiple of the ninjas. But of course when they get cut, they have this like little frozen effect in their body. So yeah. So that's what the permafrost does. If you get hit by it, you have this, you kind of turn to ice a little bit. So, yeah. This is where she is now, right now, being next to Naruto. And Naruto's right now cutting through, what's it called? Cutting through sound and sand inches and easily destroying them. This is where Naruto says, Sirena, can you handle this be, uh, for you? I have to go help the old man. This is where Sirena nods and Naruto jumps up. And it's right now going towards what to call the um, 
old man. Now, Jiraiya and some of the, uh, what's it called? Some of the Ambus that are just kind of waiting for this fight to be over. The sound for are kind of getting tired a little bit, but yeah. That's where Naruto appears and the Ambus says, uh, what's it called? Genin must leave right now. This is a serious battle. Naruto uses force push to push his ass away. That's where Jiraiya gets in front of Naruto and Naruto fucking kicks Jiraiya out of the way. Because Naruto never met Jiraiya, but he did, but he didn't. He just ignored his ass. Because he didn't give a fuck. So Naruto, he looks at the barrier and the uh, South are going like, who the fuck is this guy? Wasn't this guy the reason why the, uh, what's it called, one tails didn't transform? Naruto says, Karama likes have fun then. Karama says, oh hell yeah, kid, let's have fun. This is Naruto, his eyes goes red. And public chakras start appearing all around him. The three tails appears. Three tail cloak appears. This is where, well, the sound four says, Is he a fucking chinchuriki? Uh, the Kazukage says, A fucking chinchuriki. Haruza says, Oh my, my. Naruto, you know about the chinchur. Your the nine tails inside? Naruto, he punches the fucking barrier, cracking that shit. This is where the sound for says, ah, oh, shit, put more chakra, put more chakra. They're, they're trying to heal it a little bit, but the problem is, well, they don't have the curse mark, so they're kind of fucked. Now, Naruto uses red and black lightning to just charge the fucking barrier. The barrier is getting fucking barbecued, and it's breaking very easy. This is where the sound for going, go, 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 keep trying to heal it. They're trying to pretend this one, Naruto says. Karama! Karama says, fine kid. A fucking, he activates two more tails and now it's a five tail cloak. Of course, he's now kind of, uh, he's still in the red bubbly kind of uh, chakra and all that. But yeah, the reason why he's not into the skin type, uh, what's called a removing thing and all that, is well, he managed to actually manage to figure out a way not to actually get rid of him into being kind of on four legs and all that, and able to use the force seal, so yeah. This is where Naruto, he punches the bear so hard that it shatters. And Naruto appears right in front of, well, the uh, Kazakage. Naruto pulls out his lightsaber and just cut his ass in half. Even Rasono did try to use what's called Golden Sand. He died in an instant. This is where Naruto sees the sound for, and the sound for goes, um, we surrender. Naruto says, there's no surrendering in the battle. You all die. And of course, where Haruza says, Naruto, stop. Naruto says, are you fucking serious, old man? I saved your ass, and now you're making me stop from killing the goddamn rest of Orochimaru's little lackeys or whatever. And of course, they're like, thank God for the Hokage. Horizon says, we can get information from them. That's where Naruto is like, information from what? Fucking Orochimaru is dead. I fucking murdered his ass. Is there the sound for saying, oh shit, we found, well, the murderer of Orochimaru. And their mindscape are saying that. And of course, it's where, well, Horizon said, yeah, but maybe they have information like Yuzumaki, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they have survivors. Naruto says, I don't give a fuck about the Yuzumaki. God, I found out what the Uzumakis are from the fucking QB. You never told me jack shit. Why don't you never tell me that? And of course, Haruza says, I try to keep you safe. Keep me safe from what? I managed to kill fucking S-rank ninjas. Even Archimaru. The fuck safe do you want? Haruza just realized, all right. Right. You are straight up a murderer. Okay. <clears throat> well, do you want to know who your father is? Naruto. Naruto says, yeah, the fucking four Hokage, who the fuck do you think I look like mostly? Haruzen goes, wait, you found out? Yeah, guess what, he tried to stop me from releasing Karama. So me and Karama can be, well, not Karama, me and the QB can be friends. He tried to stop me trying to remove the goddamn seal. Fuck that, I fucking murdered his ass. I got rid of his ass. That's where Haruzen says, wait, 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 wait. When did he remove the seal from the QB? 
Um, well, when I became a ninja, Horus and Ghost. That was about eight months ago. Are you fucking serious, Naruto? Yeah. And if, well, the QB did trick me out to kind of letting him out, I wouldn't mind that he fucking destroyed the village right now. I don't give a fuck right now. And of course, well, Haruzen says, oh my fucking days, Naruto, that was the stupidest thing ever. Well, I need a fucking key. I need a key for him to be finally out of that goddamn cage. And, well, there's actually a good way to kind of release him right now. One of my joys, I actually found the last detail of, well, the little key. And, of course, this where, well, the key was, uh, boar fox, you know, it's like, some kind of hand seals and all that. And, who was gonna say, no, Archer? Yes. No. Why not? He's like, no, you are not doing this. Naruto six, but I want to. This is why Horuzen kind of fights against Naruto, and Naruto fucking pushes him away and says, "I'm just kidding, old man. I will never destroy the village that right now I'm protecting. I swear to God, if they call me a demon, I'm fucking all of them up. I do not give a fuck." This is why Horuzen says, "Fine." This is where well the joys manage to kind of throw out the sound and sand and just out of here fucking scaring the hell out of them. They're fucking running away. They're like, oh fucking no, we're not dealing with that shit. But yeah. After that whole little somewhat evasion, not really, not to fuck them all up. Even the sound what's kind of the sound for the uh Kazakage, but yeah. Also I'm feeling a little tired. I couldn't do a one hour. But this is actually where I'm going to leave it off for part 5. Or what's part 4? Ah, fuck it. Whatever. Uh, I got to leave it here. And yeah. But I have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seed. Potato, potato. And potato. Potato, potato, potato.